My name is Kyle Lauf and I'm going to teach you how to draw a bunny but it has a like a egg body and it has bunny ears and bunny hands and bunny legs. Thus we're also going to draw some grass and a basket with teeny eggs. And also it's slurping its tongue to show that's really young, happy and really excited to eat the eggs. So let's get to the video. Okay, first you draw like an oval shape that for is for the body. For the rabbit, because rabbits all need a body. But, but for this video, we're not going to draw a normal rabbit. We're going to draw an egg rabbit. So we need to draw an oval to show that it's an egg. Like real eggs. Real eggs are like kind of oval, but they're not hollow. Hollow means it has nothing inside, but they have some egg like, like those top. Sometimes they call it egg meat. Like chicken, in their body, they have meat, so they kind of call it egg meat. That's why. Sometimes if it's hard for you, like six years old or five, you can also turn your paper and rotate it so you can like do it better. And also we will need an eraser in case you do it wrong. That's why you are starting out with a pencil and you could use anything to write with but not a sharpie because we need to use a pencil for it. Like this. This kind of looks like egg, right? You see? Eggs they go from fat on the bottom and fat and skinny on the top. So now we are going to add the ears and the face next because if we add the designs we might not have enough space but then we can and then the mouth need to be un under the first design that won't look good. So we need to draw the face first and the ear first. And remember this bunny has a crown, you see? So we also need to draw a crown first. For the ears, let's like start out. Sometimes, if it doesn't look well with your handwriting, you can also practice it. Like every time you have free draw, time, you can draw some stuff and make sh and try your best. And then every time until you make it good, then you can draw like nice and good. And if you're smart, you can. I'm not really good with your handwriting. You can practice your handwriting and think about something to draw. Hmm. So now we are going to start out with the eye and mouth and cheeks because the cheeks need some circles. Wow! <laughs> to draw the eyes happy, we need to like. You see how I'm doing it? 
I do like a curve and a neck around the bottom. I'll teach you how. So first we draw a circle. And then we draw one big curve on top and one small curve on the bottom. Then we will color it in so it doesn't matter if it's white. Now click add enough curve with the tongue sticking out in the middle. But with the tongue add a line in the middle. The cheeks we just had two more circles but the, the eyes but a little bit smaller and the another thing we're not going to use the curve. We're only going to leave it blank. Later we're going to color it. You see how the eyes has curves? But this, the cheeks does not. And now, we are going to add the designs. So then, we have two lines over here. Sometimes if you cannot draw a straight line and wiggly, any, any, like, any egg can be different designs. So it's okay if you do wiggly. So you can make another wiggly one and then add your design like this one. I made it straight and now we put some hearts in there. The zigzag has stars. Before and now we draw this. Later we're gonna draw the design after we do all the outside. Next we're gonna draw a zigzag. That is kind of like a Z. And on the bottom it needs to be thick or else we can't add the design. So you need to you can have like the same. Like this. Look! I'll teach you, like, be careful. And now, we are going to drop the really bottom. Now, we're going to add the designs. So now, the top part, we're going to add hearts. Start with a, like, a curved line. And then start with another curved line. And connect it at the bottom that's pointy. Look, your hand can be called heart too. Easter day has a lot of like chocolate eggs. That's why it's called Easter. That mean that mean easy to find for little kids. But if you are a big kid, sometimes it can be really hard and sometimes it can be easy. And the zigzag, we do stars. But these stars, for it, it's just like. But the easier way is to make this this hard star is to like add a upside down triangle like this, and then add a right triangle like this. That you got it. But now I'm big, so I can do it, so I'm doing this. Now 
when you're little, you can do it the easy way. But if you don't want to do the easy way to make a hard one, you can also do like a like a triangle but not connected on top. And then one on the side like tilted like my head. And then one up facing here and then one facing there, like on the right and left. I think we want to add like the right one. Now for the last one, we're going to add hearts too. Look how it's both designed. So we need to add both the design same, right? And now, we all forgot the crown. But we can also do the crown at the end because it's on top of it, the head. So let's do the crown right now. So you do a straight line. But then at the bottom, but not touching like this. And then we add it down, but don't touch over here. Then we add a line, another one, but a little bit taller. And then we do the same thing. And another one, the same size as this one. And now we're going to do gems. You know how like sometimes uh, these are gems. Sometimes crowns can have gems. And also gems are the shape like rhombus. Your hands can make a rhombus. Look, go like this, and then the other one, and connect. That's a rhombus. So now, let's do rhombus really lightly and slowly so it won't touch. So now, we are going to do the legs. I, I might have this picture next to me so I can show you guys whenever you don't know how to do it. If I go too fast, I can hold it up for you. Now we're going to do the legs. We start by a little line, like that. But then you add like a curve, not pointy. You see how this leg is curved. That's why we're going to do it curved. Not just like. Sometimes we can add it like silly, like jumping in a muddy puddle in the rain. Or sometimes you can draw it like standing up with happy holding some chocolate eggs. I'm so excited for um, Easter day on April 3rd because then we can find some Easter eggs to eat. We need to do it the same height and the same flat. <gasps> or or then it cannot stand. It only can stand on one, one foot and the other foot needs to lift up like a flamingo. Most of the time, they only can stand on one foot. So they don't waste energy on the foot. But they don't really like going on two legs because 
it takes most of their energy, so they don't have enough energy to catch fish or stuff. Now I'm going to draw the arms. Later we're going to draw the claws. Look at how much little bunnies. Now we're going to draw the basket. So first, we're going to draw a like a like round like this. And now we're going to add the outside of the basket, but then we need to be a little bit bigger than the candle. You see, at this picture, it says. Make it look bigger. So you then do a half shake. I'm going to raise that part. Because it's not really good to take it out. And the other hand is holding the American flag. If you know what state are you living in, and if you know what flag it is, and if you know what color it has, then you draw the flag you like. But I'm in America, so I'm going to draw the American flag. Wait a second. We also got to draw the eggs. Don't forget for the eggs. Remember in this picture? There's an egg right here. So we need to draw the egg. Two eggs. You can draw more than two eggs if you want. Because that one is too skinny, so it cannot fit like three eggs or four. But this one is a little wider, so I can draw more eggs. And look, these are the eggs picking out because sometimes if you collect more eggs, it only show a bit of eggs in a row. So we need to draw some at the back to fill up the whole basket or else all the other eggs will just fall and then you cannot see it. So we need something at the back to hold them up. But the top we don't need to do the design because the designs are a little bit lower. It's only in the front. We're going to draw some patterns. So then we're going to add the lines and hearts. And then we're going to draw the cracky thing. That is the star. Kind of like my pattern I made up earlier. And also, for the ziggy zag, you can go like ziggy zag, ziggy zag, ziggy zag. Now we're going to draw the claws. Like So we have two for the legs. 
and two for the, for the arms. Since we're done with the claws, let's move on to the grass. You see how there's grass here? So first we are going to like do a pointy tip and down, a pointy tip, down, and then a pointy tip, down, a pointy tip, down. See how there's four over here? That's why we made four pointy tips. Her out with the next grass. You see, this only has three now. So let's just like do one pointy tip down, one pointy tip up, and pointy tip down. This one was three, four, five. Three, two more, four, five. Now we're going to trace. Okay, first we're going to start out with the body. Remember how the body was first? That's why we start out first. And now we are going to erase the lines. You got your marker next to you. Yeah, you need to mark with the color. If you don't have markers, you can use color pencil, crayons, or if you have markers, you can use markers. Anything to color with will be fine. So first, for the crown and ears. Yeah, that is. We're gonna get the ears that's pink. Now that both ears are done, we're gonna start with the eyes. The eyes should be black. You see, it's nice and black. Black is dark, like gray, but it's really dark than gray. How is yours going? Going really good, huh? The lips and cheeks. I want to do it nice like mine. This, this one. Ah. Then you got practice. I was practicing and practicing so I can do it nice. We're done with both now. Let's get the color to color the heart. Now, the outside of this is also pink. That's a lot of pink for today. But you can actually do it whatever color you want to. But I'm sticking with pink. The stars will be yellow. But moons, I mean stars, they don't twinkle. Their eyes are just playing tricks on you. But 
in real life they don't twinkle they just like stay where they are but you can see them going around because the earth is spinning not the stars and the moon the earth rotates around the sun and the moon rotates around the earth at night time you can also see the moon you can see like different planets with a telescope like Mercury, Venus, Earth, but we are seeing Earth. So Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Those are the other planets. There used to be nine planets. The 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 Earth is the eight, is the third planet and. Neptune is the last planet, but the ninth planet is like Pluto because Pluto is a dwarf planet because it shrunk. Dwarf planets are even smaller than the, than the smallest planet still in the universe. It is Mercury. And we're right then. So now let's move on to the stars. Let's just get my letter. Now remember, we start on with those eggs. So let's pick, let's pick a pattern if you want. Let's pick red, blue, green. Or maybe red, blue, purple. Or red, blue, a uh, teal blue. Are you doing pretty good? I am, and having a lot of fun too. There's a lot of things that I love. The sun, the truck, uh, bulldozers, and even the sun, Tonka trucks, and also flowers. Ah, flowers, some birds are in that too. Cars, and stuff like that. And also later, if you don't want to add the grass, you can cut the egg out and then you can pretend they are friends together. That would be so cute. But I picked to keep it in the paper. You can do some type of craft, but I'm not doing a craft because we want to stay nice and organized. Organized means to keep it clean. And clean means nothing around that looks nice and beautiful. We're done with the rat egg. Now, finally, is the grass. This light green. See? It's light green. Whoa! Oof. It's green, but it's really light. Come into the sun. Looks up with a dark plant. Well, if you're done, it's the end of this video. And make sure to give a and make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys.
see you next time. Have a good weekend and have a good play and drawing your Easter Bunny eggs.